Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the blade. Uh, again, they give you this uh, Allen wrench and then it's got a screwdriver and that's really all you need. You've got the chain in here and you'll, you want to put something down because you'll notice that there's oil. Uh, and they say that before you use the chain, uh, you want to soak this in oil overnight. So I'll go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to show you how to put this on. So again, soak this in oil overnight. But you can see it already has oil on it. One of the recommendations that they have is that you soak your chain with bar oil prior to uh, using your chain. So we're just going to put a little bit of oil in here and, and you're supposed to soak it overnight. So we want to get enough so that it covers everything. Uh, that looks good. Also, you don't probably don't want to use plastic. It may end up melting your plastic. I would use a metal container so we'll just let this soak overnight and then we'll go ahead and wipe it off a little bit and then put it on our chainsaw. So to put the blade on now remember we've soaked this overnight in oil in the bar oil but to go ahead and put this on first thing you need to look at is the rotation of the blade. You can see there's a diagram here and you can see it's identical to what's here. If you have it on backwards this will be the opposite direction but you want to make sure that it matches up right here. If it's not matching up there, uh, your chain's not going to cut. Uh, once you do that, you, uh, you'll slide the blade. Uh, you'll notice that there's a groove here. That's where the chain will fit in. Yeah, see that groove right there? Uh, that's where you want to put the blade. Uh, once you do get that on there, uh, you're then going to go ahead and, and uh, you want to keep tension on it. And then you're just going to go ahead and slide it on right there. Uh, you'll put it in that groove and and also uh, I forgot to mention this but one thing you want to do is you want to loosen this as far as it'll go or close to the end. Uh, you want to move this uh, thing back that way the uh, it'll fit on and, and you'll have enough slack to put the blade on. That should be good enough. Uh, you're going to put uh, this uh, into here and this little piece right here is going to go inside of here. So we'll just go ahead and slide that on. And we'll put that in. Uh, you'll then want to make sure that you've got the, uh, and you'll have to keep a little bit of tension here, but then you'll want to go ahead and put the, uh, the blade in the sprocket. And then you want to pull the guide forward. Okay, you pull it forward to make sure the blade is in the grooves. You can lift that up a little bit. And, and then just pull it forward. That'll tighten it up against the sprocket. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to put the cover on. And again, you got to keep tension on this. Uh, otherwise, um, the blade will come off. So you go ahead and put the cover on. Uh, you then insert this little piece here. And then go ahead and put the bolt on. Now with the bolt, we don't want to do it up too tight because we need to tension the blade or put a little tension on the blade. You can see that it's rotating nice and well. But remember, there is a lot of slack, so we don't want to tighten it up too much. And then we're going to have to go ahead and tension the blade, or put a little bit more tension on the blade, because you can see there's way too much slack. Now to do that, you're going to just flip it over. And you can see uh, there's a screw right here, and that's what you're going to tighten up. We'll do that a little bit. You want to make sure that it's still on the sprocket, and it is. And you can see there's still a lot of slack, so we'll go ahead and continue to tighten up this screw, and that's how you keep the blade at the right tension. Now, the way you determine whether you've got enough tension is called the snap test. You pull it back and it should snap back on. It's not doing that, so it's going to need a little bit more tension. Again, we'll get into that screw and tighten it up a little bit more. Let's try the snap test now. You can see you can pull it away and it snaps back in. And so our, our chain tension should be good. You always want to periodically test the chain and you know if you haven't used it for a while make sure you always che check the chain tension uh, just by doing the snap test. Pull it back and make sure that it goes in. You can see that it's rotating well and we should be good to go. Again, with that snap test looks like we're good. 
Thanks for watching Big Al Repairs and hopefully you subscribe.